Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong and welcome to the back office. It might be no surprise to you that I do want to build a mobile armor exosuit um, based on normal uh, mecha type designs you see. I'm a big fan of uh, the MechWarrior games and that type of vertical tank, robot jocks, all of that Pacific Rim, brilliant. Um, so when this came into my hands, um, I thought, oh, I've got to do something slightly robotic-y, mech -y, and uh, I'm not sure what I'll do with this. I'd quite like to do a crushing hand to start with. Look at that, Urgh, crushing, because um, it is kind of arm length, so that would be a bit of fun. Um, but first, I'm going to have to actually hook it up because it's been cut, its cables have been cut, in a, it's decommissioned in a rather savage way. But I managed to liberate this unit from the chair, and... Uh, I think I can uh, reverse engineer the decommissioning process. It is mains powered, it has a transformer in this box, although it is 24 volts, so one could use it um, probably without this. Um, interestingly, it does seem to have a battery pack, and I think that's because when it's used in chairs, um, this would be like it's emergency power in a power cut, so someone could get out of their chair. Um, so yeah, interesting. So this thing does look, it's like really modular though. They must make all sorts of, you know, again, chairs and things like that out of it because if you want to do some screws, you can actually take this transformer off altogether and then just get to the linear actuator itself. But I'm probably gonna just hook it up first and we'll try it with its controls. That's the best case scenario. And then we'll uh, try running it off. Um, I don't have a 24 volt battery, I've got a 12. We'll see if it runs off a 12. But first things first, let me sort the cables out. Oh, that took a lot of messing. So there's the mains one. Not quite, not perfect. It's not heat shrunk, but it's heat shrunk underneath. That's good. I'm going to plug that in. Didn't go boom. And this is the controller. You can see I just sort of, there's five wires. I just sort of sold them together, a bit heat shrink. And that's it. So it should, Ooh, there we go. It's not very fast. Let's see. <clears throat> Well, I can't stop it. So I think you'd want to supercharge this if you were going to create a, a you know, a, a mech that could run and punch. But uh, I think there's potential here for crushing. That's it. It's got an end a limit switch built in. Maybe I should try to sort of hang on to the end, shouldn't I? And see if I can actually stop it from extending. Right, I'm going to put on, I'm going to stand up actually. Put a bit of weight on. You can see my hand there. Yeah, there's no. You can hear it. It's pitch change, but it's got a lot of force. Hmm. Oh, this this is linear actuators. So slow, aren't they? That's why you need levers with them, though, to sort of. If you got them on a gate, for example, it's sort of swinging something on. But. I think that's it. Proof of concept. That works good. Um, it would be slightly interesting just to sort of take it apart a little bit. Um, I know it's going to be in here. We already know. It's going to be like basically a rack. A rack and pinion type thing going on and there'll be a gear in the end of this motor running along a geared track. But no, but saying that, maybe it's spinning an Acme screw. See, I'm, I'm sort of second guessing myself now. I'm doubting doubting my ideas but let's get rid of this if we can get rid of this bit plug it from here so the module should we have to take there we go get rid of the wires and mess out of the way oh that's a bit lighter ah oh, there you go that's more weaponized isn't it yeah so how do we get into this thing? I'm gonna say, well, let's try this first. If we undo this screw, it might just slide out. These are all quite loose. They're really thick, coarse threads. Yeah, really coarse thread, nice. Oh yeah, look, we can, we can. Ah, oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. The reason it didn't work, of course, because I need to extend this bit out. So that means I have to bloody plug it all back in again. Let's get that going on. It's interesting, it's like a speaker wire. It must be going through an H bridge to give it the in and out. I'm sure it's just the motor changing direction. Controller wire. Let's 
So go to your nan's house and pinch her uh, chair. You can get one. So slow, so slow, so very slow. That'll do. Well, before I unplug everything. Yeah. Oh, it is a lead screw. That's an interesting design. Yeah, that's that's pretty much like a uh, CNC machine then. So it's just moving a, a lead screw back and forth through a gearbox. And this track here, I'm presuming, just has some sort of sensors in the end. In fact, let's just keep winding it. when it reaches the end. It's not connected anymore to anything. Yeah, just keep going. So you can make these as long as you like as well, which is cute. So if you wanted to increase the throw, you know, the actual stroke of this, you could probably just even modify one of these. Okay, so it stops just because it, it hits a sensor. Mm, there it is, micro switch. Right there, just the tail of a micro switch you can see. Nice and simple, really. Can't beat that. That's a, a good, simple design. Hmm. And I think the other end we don't really need to open, but you'll have been, if, you, if you're ever familiar with a car uh, windscreen wiper, it's going to be very much the same setup inside there. So there's not really too many ways of making this faster, apart from putting in a faster motor or changing the pitch of that lead screw. But if you change the pitch of the lead screw, you're going to affect how much power it has. So you don't want to, don't want to overcook that really, because you might make your your arm, your robot arm, too weak. Urgh, get that back in. Hmm. But I do. Uh, I am uh, impressed with its simplicity because that just gives me a lot more scope for messing messing with it. But yeah. I could use it for making a CNC machine, but wouldn't that be a bit mundane? Also, because it's a, a motor, not a stepper, you'd have to put in something to actually very precisely measure those pulses so you could work out its uh, de you know, distance travelled. What else is there? There does seem to be something interesting here. Yeah, this is a, a grease a plug. I'm not... Oh, let's take it out. Let's have a look. This will just be for greasing that pinion up, and it looks like it's going to perish if I uh, mess with it. Yeah, it's just it's just a horrible ABS plastic. The world's longest one. Oh no, there's a bearing in there. What is that for? I thought that'd be for just grease, but let's see. Hmm. Quite a bit of torque actually. Look, you can see it trying to trying to move around when I touch it. Who knows? Doesn't matter. So hope that's been of some uh, interest to you. Probably not much use, but yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to have a think about this and try to make it into something interesting. Any ideas? Please post them down below and let's see if we can turn this into something sexy. As ever, thanks for watching. <laughs>